Welcome to Seacoast Real Estate Academy. Today in our Laws and Rules series, we will be reviewing more acts and circumstances that are prohibited by North Carolina license laws and rules. Making false promises. Real estate brokers are prohibited from making false promises of a character likely to influence, persuade, or induce. For example, an agent promises a prospective apartment tenant that the apartment will be repainted before the tenant moves in. The agent then fails to have the work done after the lease is signed. Other misrepresentations. Real estate brokers are prohibited from pursuing a course of misrepresentation or making of false promises through other agents or salespersons or through advertising or other means. For example, in marketing subdivision lots for a developer, a broker regularly advertises that the lots for sale are suitable for residential use when in fact the lots will not pass a soil suitability test for on-site sewage systems. Conflicts of interest, such as undisclosed dual agency, prohibits a real estate agent from acting for more than one party in a transaction without the knowledge of all parties for whom he or she acts. Self-dealing, prohibits self-dealing on the part of an agent. Any attempt to make a secret profit in a transaction where they are supposed to be representing a principal, then the agent would be violating this provision and represent another broker company without consent. Must have express consent to work for multiple brokerages. Improper brokerage commission. A broker may not pay a commission or valuable consideration to any person for acts or services performed in violation of the license law. This provision flatly prohibits a broker from paying an unlicensed person for acts which require a real estate license. For example, the payment by licensees of a finder's fee, referral fee, bird dog fee, or any other valuable consideration to unlicensed persons who find, introduce, or bring together parties to a real estate transaction. This is true even if the ultimate consummation of the transaction is accomplished by a licensee and even if the act is performed without expectation of compensation. Unworthiness and incompetence. The REC can discipline any licensee who, based on his or her conduct and consideration of the public interest, is found to be unworthy or incompetent to work in the real estate business such as failure to properly complete real estate contracts or to use contract forms which are legally adequate, failure to diligently perform the services required under listing contracts or property management contracts, and failure to provide accurate income expense reports to property owners. Improper Dealing this broad provision prohibits a real estate licensee from engaging in any other conduct not specifically prohibited elsewhere in the license law, which constitutes improper, fraudulent, or dishonest dealing. For example, an agent is aware that the owners of a house listed with his company are out of town for the weekend, yet the agent gives a prospective buyer the house keys and allows such prospect to look at the listed house without accompanying the prospect. The agent has failed to exercise reasonable skill, care, and diligence on behalf of his client. Discriminatory Practices any conduct by a licensee that violates the provisions of the State Fair Housing Act is considered by the Commission to constitute improper conduct and to be a violation of the license law. Additionally, a licensee shall not conduct brokerage activities or otherwise promote their status as a real estate broker in any manner that discriminates on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, familial status, or disability. Practice of Law Real estate licensees may not perform for others any legal services described in GS 84-2.1 or any other legal service. 
Following are several examples of real estate related legal services, which licensees may not provide. Number one, drafting legal documents such as deeds, deeds of trust, leases, and real estate sales contracts for others. Although licensees may fill in or complete pre-printed real estate contract forms, which have been drafted by an attorney, they may not, under any circumstances, complete or fill in deed or deed of trust forms. Number two, abstracting or rendering an opinion on legal title to real property. Number three, providing legal advice of any nature to clients and customers including advice concerning the nature of any interest in real estate or the means of holding title to real estate. Please keep in mind that although providing advice concerning the legal ramifications of a real estate sales contract is prohibited, merely explaining the provisions of such a contract is not only acceptable, but highly recommended. Violating any commission rule. Violation of any rule subjects a licensee to disciplinary action. Other prohibited acts. Number one, where a licensee has obtained a license by false or fraudulent representation, like falsifying documentation of pre-licensing education, failing to disclose prior criminal convictions, etc. Number two, where a licensee has been convicted of or pled guilty or no contest to several listed misdemeanors or felonies that would reasonably affect the licensee's performance in the real estate business. Number three, where a broker's unlicensed employee has committed an act which, if committed by the broker, would have constituted a violation of GS93A-6A for which the broker could be disciplined. Number four, where a licensee who is also licensed as another licensed profession or occupation has been disciplined for an offense under any law involving fraud, theft, misrepresentation, breach of trust, or fiduciary responsibility, or willful or negligent malpractice. Number five, be aware that under B3, licensees may be disciplined for violating any of the 15 provisions under subsection A when selling, buying, or leasing their own property. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend. For more real estate education content, please subscribe to the channel. From all of us at Seacoast Real Estate Academy, thank you for watching.